now. Inform the troops. Griselda. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. That's not true. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. I may fall in battle, but that is a fate all our countrymen face. Don't try to hide the truth from me. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so desperately seek. Quiet! I am but a phantom. I represent your innermost thoughts. I am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. You will simply die, like Griselda died. Stop it! If I sacrifice myself for my duty, father will surely show his love for me. Surely. me you had the chance to kill me with that evil sword yet you did not take it it humiliates me to be spared but I sense your true nature I cannot forgive those who use these weapons nor those that create them but just this once I will respond with compassion let me answer your question. So you will tell me about this curse? I believe you have heard about the obliteration of the Demon Lord's enemies. Your appearance is due to a curse that circulates in the remains of Valentine. The Princess's Kingdom? If Ingwe spoke the truth, then this all makes sense. Many survived the Cataclysm, but were turned into Pukas. I hear the Pukas have united and are working on how to break the curse. So I can return to normal? What must I do? I do not know. Look below you. The barren land below was once the capital of Valentine. The fairies now own this territory. It is a reason for war with the Demon Lord. The Pukas live underground. You should ask them directly. This way, your majesty. How odd. I wrote to the King of Titania about our impending visit. Why are we being led through these side streets and not directly to the palace? Urza, one of the three wise men, is the king's close aide. This insult may be his. We are surely being tricked. Why would Beldor want to deceive me when I'm offering to pardon him? He feels no guilt, nor does he want your blessing. I think we should go back before we end up regretting our actions. I think he will understand if we speak to him. He was very loyal when he served my mother. But will he be honest? You doubt him too? 
You need to understand that not everybody is bent on serving or protecting you. You're mouthy for a frog. Why did you bother coming along, huh? Your Majesty! Because I'm worried. As I thought, trying to avoid one's fate is like trying to stop the stars. Not even those who see the future can keep from carrying out their fates. Why were you holding back? I was open several times. Do not worry about me. Your Belda Reaver is a weapon without peer. My time is up. Use my death to validate the claims of its power. Take my head and announce your victory to the Commander of the Fairies. You should be aware that all this was caused by that country. But they did not hire me. My father specifically asked me to do this. He is not your father. Your real father is a man named Edgar. That means nothing. That is just the name of a man who abandoned a baby. Melvin is my only father. Even though I am human, he raised me as his own. Do not forget that when the time comes. You talk as if you know everything. Let me cease your tongues flapping. Shadow Master who threatens the darkness, seek the bird. That shall be your destiny. It is as Melvin said. As long as I have this Belder Reaver, even the dragon shall fear me. to see you are safe. How is Master Croy? He's still in bed, unconscious. He sometimes mumbles about the Armageddon. Oh, Master. Huh? You better be telling the truth. So Odin cast a spell on his daughter, eh? Yes! Please. Uh, you're hurting me. What are you doing? Leave her alone, Skuldi. Ah, princess. This does not concern you. Miris, it's you! Yes, Princess Velvet. I was forced to leave the castle, so I was on my way back home. What did the sorcerer want? I do not know. When I told him that I was driven from the castle, he suddenly looked strange. Driven from the castle? What is happening at the Demon Lord's palace? Princess Gwendolyn, who I serve, was banished for opposing the king. What? Where did she go? 
She is to be imprisoned in the old castle in the forest. That girl. Oh, forgive me, Maris. This is all my fault. She sacrificed herself to save me. Princess Velvet. No. I cannot stand here and do nothing. Oh, Princess Velvet. Looking lovely as usual. Brum. <gasps> That's my spear. What is it doing here? Hmm. He said that Odin gave him that spear. Princess, you are the king's daughter, correct? To give away the spear my sister handed me as she lay dying. Feel like I slept forever. Are you all right? I shall bring you some tea. I feel a bit better knowing that you're here. I will attend to you, even if I wasn't ordered to. Miras, thank you so much. Princess, I'm a puka vendor. Is there something you need? Thank you. 
I get you today? With pleasure. Bon appetit! All for you? Thank you very much. Welcome. What can I get you today? With pleasure. Bon appetit. Will this be all for you? Thank you very much! May I have some of your time? Since you've come all this way, why not purchase a souvenir? I have rare goods you won't find anywhere else. There you are, Gwendolyn. Oswald, the Shadow Knight. So I have been forced to accept the enemy's elite soldier as my husband. It seems I am destined to suffer. I must take my leave soon. But before I go, I would like to give you something. Your hand, please. This ring... I'm sorry, I have nothing else worthy of being presented to you. This is a beautiful ring that I obtained from a dragon named Wagner. <gasps> the ring to Trell? Will you accept it? Why are you giving me something so precious? Hmm, how can I say it? Well... It's because I want to see you smile, to see you happy. I... I am a warrior. My only happiness stems from battle. You sound unsure. Do you fancy him? No. That man is my enemy. When I think about all the warriors he has slain, I cannot forgive him, no matter how kind he is to me. My father's spell is making me feel this way. Tis not love. It simply cannot be. I shall seek vengeance the moment it presents itself. That is what my father would want me to do. There is no reason for you to remain loyal to a king who has abandoned you. I... I just want to do what will make my father happy. That is what Oswald just said to you. He 
yearns for your love in the same way you yearn for your father's. It matters not. For now, I am simply a prisoner being manipulated by my captor. Oswald! Are you leaving so soon? Yes. I have an oath to keep. Gwendolyn, will you wait for me? I belong to you now. If you command me to wait, I shall obey. You are not an object, and I will not allow anyone to treat you thus. Never. I take my leave. I shall be back soon. This ring is undoubtedly to Trell. This will allow the cauldron to be activated. I must take it to my father. Princess! I come with a message for the king. Ah! What are you doing? I may have been banished, but I will not tolerate such treatment. The king has ordered us to kill you on sight.
Whoa, I'm not an enemy. I'm just a traveling salesman passing through. As long as you have cash, I don't care who you are. Restaurant. No building, no problem. I'm so glad there's a customer this time. The wind rings the bell much too often. Huh? A new recipe. Allow me to add it to the menu. Now then, what do you want to order? Well, leave it to me. Will that be all? Thank you very much.
Restaurant. Call and I am at your service. I am honored you have summoned me again. Now then, what do you want to order? As you wish. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you want to order? Thank you very much. Ah! 
this place is suspicious. I'm thinking of leaving. You seem to be an honest soul. I'll sell you something since you're here. Recognize me? Your Lord Brigand! The Queen of the Underworld thinks highly of me. I have been delegated to discipline King Odin, who steals jewels from her realm. Observe, the pitiful king is merely a puppet to my will. This country is finally mine! So you're behind the chaos in this land? You disgust me! Leave the king at once! <laughs> I'll tear off those wings of yours and remove my shame for having known you! Your soul shall become my plaything! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Father, you've returned. Gwendolyn, you made it back safely. I have violated your edict, but I have important information for you. Please take this. This ring is to Trell. Good work, Gwendolyn. That man, I was right to tempt Oswald. Tempt? What do you mean, father? He and I formed a pact I would give you to him if he could slay the dragon Wagner. Obviously, he succeeded. The ring is a prize from that battle. With your latest actions, you have atoned for your past transgressions. Welcome back, my child. Your honor has been restored. The Shadow Knight, Oswald. He fought the dragon. For me. No. This is no longer where I belong. Gwendolyn. Farewell. I wish you in the heavens well. You're so irresponsible. You didn't say where you went. I was nervous. If anything happened to you, he'd be very distressed. You're so irre- If anything- Has he not returned yet? No, not yet. It seems like he's the only thing on your mind lately. N not at all. But he does seem to be rather late.
Princess, are you hungry? There's a very nice restaurant through this portal. Tell me, where has he gone? He went to the Fire Kingdom to fulfill a promise he made to the king there. He's been gone for some time now. Something may have happened. To fulfill a promise? What is happening in the Fire Kingdom? My heart aches with each passing day. I cannot bear it. I cannot wait like this. The Great King Onyx is just ahead. Welcome, Princess of Ragnanavum. It has been a while, Your Majesty. You are as beautiful as ever. Tis always a pleasure to welcome you to our kingdom. This way, please, allow us to entertain you. Your Majesty, I have come here seeking answers. I have heard that my husband Oswald has come to this land. Are you aware of this? As much as I would like to say that I am not, I cannot lie in the face of such beauty. He is certainly here. He is fighting for me. Fighting? Yes, against a dragon that is terrorizing our country. Some say that this dragon is Leventhan, the one mentioned in the prophecies concerning the world's end. Our fire and our swords have had no effect on this newborn dragon. I thought his Belder Reaver may have some effect. But since I have heard no news, I assume it was useless as well. Why Oswald? You may not know this, but King Odin had already promised your hand to me. It would have helped unify both our countries. But your father went back on his word and instead gave you to that tortured soul. In compensation for letting the issue drop quietly, Oswald made me a promise. He vowed to fight for his life on my behalf whenever I asked. Oswald did this for me? He may die. He may even already be dead. I can void our agreement and save him, if you will be my bride. It's up to you, Gwendolyn, as long as you become mine. Inferno King, you are no different than the men back home. I am not an object. What? Get her, Vulcans! Capture her, but don't harm her.
Astrud. This is unbearably hot. A cold meal would be great for here. I see you have a new recipe. Please, allow me. Now then, what do you want to order? As you wish. Sorry for the wait. Will that be all? I await your further patronage. Something.
Quite rare to see a human in this area. It'll be a bit expensive, but I'll sell you something if you want. <laughs> Thank you. 
dragon like this. This doesn't look good. Oswald! Huh? Why are you here? I, I can't make it. I can't go on.
His injuries are grave. They must be attended to immediately. See what his pride has cost him. Leave him be. You have been banished for disgracing your country, but you are still astonishing. To be able to defeat the dragon from the prophecies, you intrigue me even more. Oswald has fought for you, and the dragon has been defeated. We are returning to the castle. Why? Why him? That man has been selected by the Queen of the Dead. He will eventually die as her servant. His very existence is torment. Leave that doomed soul and take my hand. Your Majesty, if you persist in insulting my husband, my spear will take your hand. If you do not want your life extinguished, get out of my sight! <laughs> How intense, just like a flame. I shall pay my respects to such intensity and back down for now. The promise has been kept. Let us leave it at that. But remember, you are the one that stokes the embers of my heart. You mustn't. Don't go anywhere without telling me ever again. But in any event, I too am happy to hear of Oswald's return. Oswald is safe. What a relief. Yes, indeed. Has Oswald's condition changed? He is resting at the moment. I see. May I ask you something? What is it? I have heard rumors suggesting that Oswald has some type of connection to the Queen of Death. Well, um, uh, hmm. In order to increase my Belder Reaver's power, my father sold me to her. Oswald! You need to rest. And just as he wished, I acquired the cursed power of the Shadow Knight. But in compensation for this contract, the Halya lurk about everywhere. They are waiting for the moment my power fades. How terrible! As long as I have the Belder Reaver, the Halya fear me and stay away. But this power continues to be my curse. That was a close call back there. I must thank you. But Gwendolyn, why did you go to the Fire Kingdom? What did you discuss with Onyx? I apologize for not obeying your command to stay here. But... I was so worried and concerned about you, I could not sit idly by. 
Huh? You were worried about me? I... I... um... Your Highness! You belong to my father's troops. I have something to report. Ragnarnival suffered a crushing defeat from the Veneer under their new queen. They have seized the area around the cauldron. That can't be. How is the king? Is the king all right? King Odin has been wounded by arcane bolts and has returned to the castle. But his injuries are severe and he is in no shape to do battle. The enemy will surely take this opportunity to invade the castle. The precious ring he received from your highness has been taken away. You gave away the ring I presented to you? No. Oh. This was all a part of the Demon Lord's scheme. So, I was used as a puppet. Wait a moment. I really... Oh. Your Highness, for now, please return to the kingdom and assist King Odin. I cannot return to my father, but I will serve my responsibility as the king's daughter and fight. Please inform the king of my intentions. You're going to attack alone? You're asking to be killed! If I can retrieve that ring, the entire war will change. Are you doing this for your father? Or for him? I never imagined losing someone could be so terrifying. I don't want to lose him.